Pumpkins and Pioneers. Today I'm going to be doing a review and a recipe, really. Um, I really want to try this One Step Pickle. So I thought I'd do it on video just to give you guys a uh, review on how this works. Um, this is, it says it's five minutes to do it. It's a one-step pickle. It's called Mrs. Wages One-Step Pickle Ready-Made Pickling Mix. And you just pour it over fresh vegetables. I'm going to do cucumbers because I'm going to pickle, but you could pickle anything. Onions, uh, cauliflower, uh, carrots, anything. It's gluten-free, and there's no artificial flavors or anything. Now, um... I can't remember what I paid for this, but you could obviously Google it and find out. I, I bought it at uh, uh, one of the major supermarkets, so when you Google it and click your shopping button, it's going to tell you the stores that carry it. But this is going to be for kosher dill pickles. Now the only thing I didn't like about this uh, was that you have to consume the pickles within a month. That's good for 30 days. Um, so I'm sure that's true with anything that you pickle, including beets or, or anything like that. So I thought I'd try to make a quick video. And uh, we have a lot of cucumbers from our garden. We still have more to harvest. And I bought these because they're going to be simple. And I have some old pickle jars that I've sterilized. And I'm just going to reuse an old pickle jar. So, <clears throat> I don't know how many cucumbers this says to use. This says for medium, but you're going to, we need to pack the cucumbers as where there's little or no air in this jar, and then we pour this over top of it. I don't know if one package is going to be good enough for this jar or not. We're going to wait and see. But, um, and then we'll do a taste test. Uh, you have to wait eight hours for the first taste, so uh, it just has to be refrigerated for the first eight hours and then we'll do a taste test with uh, my husband and he'll tell you what he thinks about them. So let's get started um, and I've got three of those <clears throat> that I purchased. Uh, we're going to start out with just some cucumbers and I'm going to do these um, sliced because I think I can fit more cucumbers in there and um, I think it'll just be better. Now uh, I'm going to show you a little trick my grandmother showed me. When you're cutting cucumbers, when you're doing them for pickles, the larger the cucumber, the more bitter the cucumber might be. So, um, she always told me to cut off the end and take the end and rub the bottoms. And if it foams up like it's doing, it's removing all of the, all of the bitter out of it. All of this white stuff is the bitterness of the cucumber coming out. So, um, I don't know what truth that is, or if that's a myth, or something that she learned from her mother, but I've always done it. Sometimes you just don't ask, you just do what people say when you're cooking. And I don't ever remember challenging her on why. So, gonna take this off and then I'm just gonna slice them and I'm gonna do like a half inch or an inch thick pickles should be in everybody's diet they are extremely good for you and they offer you uh, probiotics and they keep good bacteria in your gut so they're very good for you. Okay. Gonna lay these flat. Give them 
flat as I can. So this has been about three small ones, but I think we have a little bit of rim, and it says to leave a half inch uh, on the top. So I'm going to try and mush these down. And you got to make sure that this uh, liquid covers the cucumbers. If not, they can go bad on you. So, all right. So we're going to take this. I'm going to open it up, and we're going to pour. Now. It doesn't look like I have enough, so these are probably a larger pickle jar. I'm gonna go ahead and try another one. Oops. Because we really need to make sure I get these covered. And we're gonna leave a half inch at the top. And if you just like, you know, making your own fresh pickles, this is certainly a good way. It smells like dill pickle, this uh, liquid. So it's really strong. But, um, you know, if okay, there's a so way this to weigh the this pickle down. test after the pickles have been refrigerated, I'm going to get Bill to try them. And I did two jars. Looks like he get get the full one. He got the half full one. Are they crispy? Yeah. They're dill. They're good. Okay. There you go.